Hey everyone, my name's Jordan from Fish Keeping Made Easy and today we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to do a Scottish River Ecosphere. Like most people probably watching this video, I too have become obsessed with these kind of videos over the last few months and thought, well, why not I try one myself? So for anyone who doesn't know what these ecospheres are, what it involves is taking some water, mud or sand, rocks and plants and loads of different stuff from local waterways and closing them into a sealed jar, observing them over the next little while and seeing what happens. And yes, these videos are addictive. So I walked down to my local river, the River Dee, and tried making one for myself. So the River Dee runs into the North Sea and the section of river that I chose was not far from the estuary. I hoped this would ensure I would get a much richer biodiversity from this and as you can see from the footage, it's teeming with life. As you can see, the riverbed was very sandy and rocky. Now this was perfect for a few reasons. One, we would likely get a lot more larvae, worms and crustaceans hiding within the sand and rocks. But this was also mean by adding a large section of sand and rocks to the ecosphere, this would act as good filtration, giving areas for beneficial bacteria to prosper and would ensure some kind of longevity for the ecosphere. In terms of plant life, there wasn't much in this section. However, under the bridge, we found his interest in moss slash algae and a random stem plant that was floating by. These two would act as filtration, sucking nitrates out of the water and also providing hiding spots and potential food for the occupants of the ecosphere. I also added a few twigs that were in the river, again, potential food sources and hiding spots for the occupants. However, I also thought there might be different creatures hiding under the bark. So we sealed it up and we took it home and obviously it was a bit cloudy to start with, but just after a few minutes, we started to see signs of life emerge. So here's some footage of what we saw the next couple of days. Thank you. 